This video explains how to use a Sierra modem, in this case a HL7802, to create a TCP client connection to a remote TCP server with send and receive actions. This is done via a remote server application, in this case Hercules, to receive the data and send out some data to the modem. The steps that will help you are detailed in this document. It starts with the modem initial setup, where you turn on the unsolicited events for registration attach. Always make sure that network selection is in automatic. If you are using an LTE bearer, say CAT-M or NB1, for HL7802, you will be able to turn on CE reg. Once that's done, Reset the modem reusing CFUN equals 1, 1, and you should see the following sequence appear in your terminal prompt. CREG5 and CGREG5 appears if you are using a Sierra SIM or if you're using the network SIM that you're on, which is its home network, so that would be CREG1 and CGREG1. Then you're ready to start the TCP connection. After this, the first thing you have to do is to enter the APN information for the connection that you're going to establish. For this, use KCNXCFG equals 1, comma, quotes, GPRS. For the Sierra SIM, the APN information is internet.swir. Now you have to set up the TCP connection parameters. This is the IP address port number of the Hercules remote program that you're going to connect to. Once that's done, you will get an OK returned. Now set up the TCP connections session ID. In this case, it is 1, so KTC PCNX equals 1. Now wait for the unsolicited events to appear. Once that's done, you can then start the session in direct data flow mode. So when KTCP start equals 1, you get connect. After you're connected, any information that you type into the terminal prompt will appear in the Hercules server app. Also, whatever you send in the server app, that is TCP server here, will appear also in this string. Once you've done a send from the modem and a send from Hercules to the modem, then you can do an exit the data session using plus plus plus. Remember, that's the escape sequence after which you close down the TCP socket. Once the unsolicited events appear and the session is been torn down, you should then just get the general unsolicited events for registration status to appear. Now let's go to the terminal program. Click on Setup to confirm it. Next, click on Serial Port and open it. When the serial port opens, select the speed, which should be 115200, and then click OK. Then type ATI command. Here the setup used is HL7802, which appears on screen, and you receive an OK for it. This is purely to determine that you have a communication channel open with the modem at the specific board rate. Now confirm that you have set registration unsolicited events on by typing AT plus CREG equals 1 and receive an OK for it to turn on unsolicited events. Then do the same for AT plus CG reg equals 1 for 2G network attach unsolicited events. Confirm COPS is auto, which it is, and then you will find yourself on Sierra Wireless. You have to be aware that you're on a 2G bearer, so there's no point in saying CE reg and you don't need to worry about that. Now, if you do a CFUN equals 1, 1, which is a reset, you'll start seeing the unsolicited events for CGREG and CREG, and eventually, once the modem selects the required network, it will come back as CREG5 and CGREG5, which you just saw. So, you can now set up the GPRS connection, for which you need to type AT plus KCNXCFG equals 1, comma, quote, GPRS, quote, comma, quote, internet dot SWIR. You will receive an OK, and the connection is set. The next thing to do is to set the TCP connection parameters, for which you need to type AT plus KTCP CFG equals 1, 0, quote. Here it is. 
46.32.239.228, and on port 3000. You will again receive an OK back from that. The next step that you have to follow is go over to the Hercules remote desktop connection. Now set under TCP server and port 3000, you have to select listen. When you do that, Hercules is now listening for the connection from the modem, which you will now establish. The next thing is to start the TCP connection using a session ID of 1, which should be AT plus KTC PCNX equals 1. You have to wait for the unsolicited events and then start the session by typing AT plus KTCP start equals 1, where the session ID is 1. You will receive a connect for that, which means you're now connected. Now, when you type Hello Hercules, which is what you send here in the terminal, you will see that it's received by Hercules. On the Hercules application, if you do Hello Sierra HL7802 by clicking on Send, you will see that the message is now received by the modem. If you would like to exit this data session, then you would need to do plus plus plus. You will receive an OK for that, and this confirms that you are not in TCP data session anymore, though the session is still active. To prove that the data session is closed, send any AT command. Here you can see ATI3 is sent, which returns the firmware version of the modem. If the data session was still active, there would be no response to that command. Now let's look at the steps that you will need to do to close the session. For that, type AT plus KTCP close equals 1 comma 1. Then close the listening port. You will have to wait for the TCP teardown to conclude, and you will see that happen very shortly. When you get 1 comma 3, it means this session is completely finished and closed. When you type AT plus CG reg question mark, you will receive plus CG reg colon 1 comma 5 for Sierra SIM or plus CG reg colon 1 comma 1 non Sierra SIM on its home network followed by OK. You will see that you are still attached but the IP data session will be finished. That is the end of the walkthrough and now you know the steps that can be followed on a TCP client server connection using AT commands on a HL7802.